I am at Gahanna Woods State Nature Preserve and Gahanna Woods Park. They're two different places right next to each other. The parking lot is the same, you can get to both. Now, there's a pond there for the nature preserve. You're gonna go back this trail and it's a big loop. It's gonna bring you back out. And I think there might be like a couple side trails back there. I can't remember. It's been about a year since I've been here. That way to the state nature preserve, which is gonna be to the left. And then you see that little kiosk sign down there? That is where you can go in. One of the spots you can go in. I mean, there's a few others. I think there's a trail up there, but it's all it's all connected. Anyway, so that you would take to go through the woods for the um, Gehanna Woods Park. Both are really, there's a nice little pine forest up that way too. Um, both are really good. They, I'm not sure how many miles of trails between the two. Maybe two to three miles, I don't know. Um, but they're both nice little places to hike. Like I say, State Nature Preserve to the left in that wood set of woods, and the park is to the right or straight ahead in that set of woods. Trails are for pedestrians only. been a while since I've been back here. I was look, hoping it might be a trail map. Okay, here is the map for both. All right, let me find exactly where we're at here. I'm here. So, okay, we're here. This is the parking lot. As I said, we're gonna go this way, and this is the State Nature Preserve. It's a big loop. There's actually a nice swamp over here. But it doesn't really give you a good view of it. But it's a big loop around and it comes back out. And then I've told you at the end of that parking lot, you've seen that where I showed you that other kiosk is at. This is the state park. And it doesn't really show too much because this is the map for the preserve and not the park. It's just showing what little bit there is. Um, and this is also a loop. So it looks like with the state nature preserve too, you got two different loops. You got the orange, which is smaller. Then you got the yellow, which I'm gonna to do today, which is the bigger loop. And then after I'm done, then I'm gonna go around and do the Gahanna Woods Park. Now, it's probably pretty frozen today, but I know in the lower areas back here, it can get wet. So if you come down here in the summer, you're gonna walk through a little bit of mud. But then as it gets elevated a little bit, um, it's not too bad. There's actually a little swamp up here too. It's a little boardwalk. So, I don't really see a lot of people back here when I'm here. I don't know how, I mean, I can see a lot of tracks in the snow here, but other than maybe locals, I don't know if this park is really all that well known. Okay, see, I don't remember those blazes last time I was here. So the orange is a shorter loop, and the white was the bigger loop. Or do I have that backwards? But well, we're going to do the bigger loop. See, here's where the loop begins. You can go either way. It's going to bring you back to this point. Doesn't really matter.
to here is a boardwalk. Here, I told you there's a little wetland up here. This isn't the swamp I mentioned, no. Swamp is over that way, and it's a lot bigger. It's just a little wetland here. Okay, Beachwoods Trail to the right, Woodlands Pond Trail to the left. Um, we're gonna go this way, because this is where it breaks up. Remember the white? Let's see the, there is a shorter loop, and then the orange, which you see over there, is a larger loop. And I wanna do the larger loop. One thing I wish this trail would actually go down and give us a better view of the swamp. <clears throat> I'm guessing that it doesn't do that because this is a, a nature preserve. Um, so their goal is to try to preserve it, preserve everything in here. So they probably don't take the trail down by the swamp so that way we don't disturb the waterfowl and birds and so forth down there in the swamp area that are breeding. That's probably why they don't take the trail down there. There's a little bit of the swamp right there. I mean, you can walk through the woods and get down there. The trail just doesn't go down there. There's a church. I can't think of the name of the road over there. There's a church over there. You pull it in the parking lot and you're the back of the parking lot. You can see a little bit of the swamp. Oh, actually quite a bit of the swamp from behind the church. Okay, we're meeting back up that other trail again. The, 
uh, white blaze is a shorter one. It says it's called Woodlands Pond Trail. It's been about a year. It might be longer since I've been here. That, of course, it would take us back to the parking lot. Um, like I said, but I'm going to walk this way because I don't remember a pond out here. So I'm going to walk this back until we meet where we split off before. And then I just turn around and come back this way. Because I don't remember a pond back here. I remember, I mean, I remember the wetlands and stuff like I showed you earlier. There's one right there in a little wetland. And then the big swamp, which is way over there. But I don't remember a pond. So, we're going to follow this back to where we split off from this trail and see if there is a pond back here that I forgot about. Okay. There's this here. You don't call that a palm, but that's basically just part of the wetland that we walked over earlier when we split off and did the went the orange blaze instead of the white. Because it just extends all the way down through here. So if that's what they're calling the pond. And right here is where we split off. See, you remember that sign there? We came from that way. And we got to this point here. And I said, okay, we go that way, which is a small loop, white. Or this way, which is orange. So that's the way we originally went. So I guess that's what they're calling a the pond. Other than that, there was no pond out here. I didn't think so, because I couldn't remember one. Hey, we're back out here in the parking lot. Uh, that was about 1.39 miles. Do that whole loop to the preserve. It is 27 degrees with a wind chill of 18 right now. Heat wave for us. The last few days, We've been down single digits with wind chill below zero. Now we're coming over here and we're going to go into the Gahanna Woods Park. I don't know if they got a trail map here or not. Let's see. Okay, we are here. This is where we were at over here earlier. We're right here, we're gonna go in. Again, we got orange and it looks like a violet. Purple, light purple. And it goes up around. And then I remember this opening here. I think they're power lines or whatever, I don't know. The violet comes back down and comes back. 
to here. So this is a violet loop. Or again, we're gonna do the orange, we're gonna do the larger one, which goes all the way around. Comes through here, back over here, comes down, and we're gonna come in like right over the See it right there. We're gonna come in back in right there. That's where we're gonna come back off. So now we're gonna do the uh, the woods. And again, we're gonna do the larger one. And back in this area, somewhere you can see here, they got a bunch of conifers, which is really nice. And you, you can actually access it maybe here. There's a point because up in here. Up in this area, there's housing, people living up in there. So people can actually access the park from up there too. And there's actually, I think, a kiosk up there. So now we're gonna do the Gahanna Woods Park. This one, I think you can have dogs, I think. You couldn't in the preserve because, um, oh, bat boxes because um, uh, it's a preserve and it's exactly what it is. We're just starting off. You're gonna come to this here. It looks like it goes both ways. Which way do I go? Okay, it doesn't matter. Um, the shorter loop is this here. You're gonna go in one way and you're gonna come back out the other. The larger loop, I would go this way and then, like I say, you're going to come all the way around and you're going to come back out over there. So it doesn't matter which way you go here if you want to do the shorter loop. But if you want to do the longer loop, go this way. So that or you're actually doing a longer loop. I mean, you can still do the sh longer loop the other way, but it's not as long. If I'm not mistaken... I think that'll take you back over into the preserve. I'm gonna walk that way just to see. I think this will take you back into the preserve. Maybe not. This might be the correct way to go. This one doesn't have blazes like the preserve did. Yeah, this just goes right here and ends. <clears throat> but it looks like it would take you, well, the preserve's over here outside this little stream right here. I don't know what this is for. But that's the preserve over there. Been a while, so I can say, since I've been here. I don't know if you can fish in these little ponds. I don't know if I ever seen anybody fishing in them. I don't see any signs that says no fishing, no swimming. Uh, so you might be able to fish in them. Can't really say. So we're gonna go this way. And then this follows that stream we were just at. This follows that stream for a little ways. Oh, they do have blazes here. Blue. But where is the violet or the light purple one for the shorter loop? Where's, I don't see them on the tree. See, I can see a trail over there for the nature preserve. Just hanging inside that stream.
Okay, here's that opening that was on the map. That will take you, yeah, there's another kiosk down there, I thought. So that'll take you out into a neighborhood. I believe that is the way it showed to go if you wanted to do the small loop. And then I'll take you back to the parking lot. But we're gonna go this way, because like I said, I want to do the larger loop. So we're gonna continue on this way. I know we crossed this little stream here on my right. I think there's a little bridge up here. Yeah, there is, I see it. Take us back over into that opening that we just went through. Coming to this intersection here. Um, it's showing yellow. Well, I don't see none here, along with some blue blazes. But on that map, it looked like it was blue and purple or violet. Um, that way is going to be shorter, though. That's going to take you over to, to a little road, which is part of this park. If you want to go longer, go to the left here. You want to go shorter and back to the parking lot? Just keep on going straight. But we're going to go to the left and do the longer loop. You can probably hear traffic. <clears throat> These woods are not that big. I'm gonna think of Hannah. So you're not gonna get lost out here. And right now with all the foliage off the trees, you can pretty much see through the woods and you can see a lot of the houses. <clears throat> so, end up off the trail not a big deal but the trails are pretty easy to see Okay, we're in another intersection. That way there, we're right near this water tower. So that way you know where we're at. That way there is gonna take, again, a shorter route back to the uh, parking lot. <clears throat> we're gonna go this way, it's a little bit longer. 
Right along this water tower here. Basically, if you go cl clockwise around this loop, like I am doing, if you just keep making left turns, you'll do the longer loop. which continues there on this side. Another one. So I don't know, I don't see where we would have come down off that one trail. I'm not seeing how we, we could have got to it unless I missed it somewhere. We'll walk down to it down here. <clears throat> Up, look, here it is. Here it is, right here on our left. Parking lot's right down there. We're gonna go this way, though. And I'm starting to think maybe, maybe I missed it somewhere. A little overgrown. Okay. It comes to here, that's where we just come up through. Comes to this bench. It looks like it ends, but let's look over here and see what this is over here. I don't know if this is a trail. I guess I'd say not. There's the water tower again. There's another bench over there. I'd say we're off trail, but maybe at one time This was a tra an active trail. You can see, you can, you can actually see it there a little bit. Probably taking you over to the other bench we just saw. I'm saying we're on a trail, but maybe it's an old trail that they're discontinuing and they're not maintaining it anymore. We are back down here. Here's the parking lot. And you can see they're going off to the right. That's that asphalt drive we come out on. Back by the water tower, which is right there. So we did a total of 2.94 miles. We did 1.4, let's just say 1.39. Let's just say 1.4 in the preserve. So we did about 1.5 here in the, in the uh, Woods Park, Hannah Woods Park. So, all together, both sides, you're gonna do probably close to three miles, which isn't too bad. Okay, I'm over here. This is the church I was telling you about. You can see the swamp. That's Taylor Road right over there. This is the church.
This is the swamp out back here. And this is the swamp I was telling you about. Woods over there, you see over there, that's where we were just at. You can't really see it, but I'm in the waters out there. I'm not gonna walk too far because I didn't lock my car. But this is a swamp. Those woods right over there, that's where we were just at. That's the uh, Johanna Woods State Nature Preserve over there. That's where we were just at. <laughs> 